Ever since I put in just a bit of effort to tweak my LinkedIn profile, the number of recruiters who reached out to me exponentially increased. The biggest difference between an optimized LinkedIn profile and the standard default profile is that recruiters are much more likely to find you and reach out to you if you have an optimized profile. In all fairness, I don't even use LinkedIn often. I only really use it when I need or want a new job, which is the case with most people, right? So let me show you my low effort, high impact method of how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile to get a data analyst job or any job for that matter. Before I begin, let me just emphasize that I absolutely recommend that you work with recruiters as their number one goal and your number one goal are the same. They want you to get a job so that they can get paid and you wanna get a job so that you can get paid. So what's the first thing you should do when optimizing your LinkedIn profile? Well, it's no secret that recruiters who look to fill data analyst positions will certainly look for keywords like data analyst. So first and for most, you should try and include data analyst somewhere on your profile. The best place to put these keywords would be in the headline. Make sure to write your own headline as you can include as many keywords as you want to. As if you go with the default LinkedIn option, you're restricted to just one title. Now, even if your role is not a data analyst role per se, you can include data analysts somewhere in the headline if you have the necessary skills and or certifications and or you've done many data analyst portfolio projects. You see here that I included visualization expert or business analyst or business intelligence specialist, for example, as I am the visualization expert within my team. And I also do a lot of work around identifying business problems and coming up with proposals proposals and detailed plans on how to solve them, kind of like a business analyst would do. I also have data management specialist as I am a data analyst specifically within the data management landscape. Now, having a strong LinkedIn profile is great, but complementing it with an outstanding resume and cover letter is even better, which is why I want to give a quick shout out to Resumable, the only resume writing company that gives you one-on-one -on -one access to expert resume writers in 80 plus industries. You can of course try the service at absolutely no cost to you by using Resumable's free resume review. What I like about Resumable the most is that they understand that different industries require a different approach to selling the same skills. Resumable's interactive, customer-focused approach ensures you get a resume, a cover letter, or even a LinkedIn makeover that's tailored specifically to your goals, wants, and needs. The process is simple. Register, provide some information about yourself like job history, motivations, and jobs of interest. And then you get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with an expert as you get matched with a writer. And finally, you get the best version of your resume, cover letter, or LinkedIn profile. So if you're interested, try Resumable now for free using the link in the description below. And a big thanks to Resumable for sponsoring this video. Next, you should optimize your bio. You can put your contact detail right at the top so people can easily reach out to you without having to look for your email. Recruiters looking to fill data analyst jobs are looking for certain skills. So make sure you include keywords like Excel, SQL, Python, or Tableau, or whatever technical skills you have here. You should also add a short description of what you can do with these specific specific tools. If you already have relevant experience or built up some domain or business knowledge, don't forget to highlight that either. When populating the work experience section, focus on highlighting relevant experience. Keep in mind that you're applying for a data analyst job here, so it's better to include less here as long as it's relevant rather than more non-relevant experience just to fill the page. I'd say include three to five projects or bullet points for each role and don't just state what you did. In simple, plain English, explain what you did, how you solved the business problem, and the benefit of solving this problem. The questions you should be focusing on when writing your bullets would be, what specifically did I do? How did I solve the business problem? What was the impact of solving this problem on my team or my organization? Do not include fluff words like basically or actually. Be precise and cut straight to the point with your communication. The experience section is not a place for short stories. Please remember that. All right, 
Next up, licenses and certifications. Use this section to include any relevant certificates you've picked up over the years. Recruiters oftentimes look for specific certificates, and if you have some well-known ones like the Google or the IBM certificates, that can definitely increase the chances of them reaching out to you. I created a data roadmap where I curated some of the best professional certificates. Make sure to check them out on my website. The link is in the description below. Nowadays, all of these certificates will come with a link that you can share with others. So make sure you include the correct hyperlinks to allow others to easily check and verify your credentials to make sure you're legit. Use the featured section to showcase more of your skills and more of yourself. You can include a link to your GitHub page, your portfolio project page, or maybe even your own website where you host all of your projects. You could build your stunning data portfolio, for example, using the ultimate portfolio template that I created. It's a one-stop shop for all of your data projects, or you can publish your entire portfolio to the web with zero coding. You'd get access to the portfolio template, the manual, and the four amazing projects of mine with exclusive end-to-end -end expert write-ups, summaries, and detailed reports so you know what good looks like. Make sure to check out the ultimate portfolio using the link in the description if you haven't already done so. Choose an eye-catching image that stands out and make your profile viewers want to click on your content. I love this section because you can literally include anything you want. A great place to incorporate something fun and useful. And last but not least, Let's talk pictures. I know a lot of people come up with cool and complex designs and logos for their profile pictures and banner images, but my preference for a profile picture has always been a smiley headshot with a simple, plain background with you in the center, of course, and properly lit up. It's scientifically proven that smiling and laughing is contagious, so a picture where you look happy is the one to go with in my opinion. And for the banner image, I again prefer simplicity. Make the effort to change the banner from the default one to something that's unique to you, but absolutely no need to overkill this exercise and spend hours or days designing it. So to quickly recap, make sure you include the keyword data analyst somewhere in your profile if you're looking for a data analyst job. The best place for this would be in the header section. Obviously, if you're looking for other jobs, just include the keywords for those jobs. Put your contact details at the top of your about section to make it easy for others to reach out to you. Include keywords covering your technical skills here, so words like Excel, Python, SQL, and don't forget to add a short description of what you can do with each tool. Use the experience section to highlight relevant experience and don't just state what you did. Explain what you specifically did, how you specifically solved that problem and what the benefit was. Use the licenses and certification section to include any relevant certifications you've picked up over the years and make sure to include the correct hyperlink to your online badges so that others can check and verify your accomplishments. Have fun with the featured section and include your projects, your portfolio, or your own website if you have one here. And finally, make sure to smile when it comes to your profile picture. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.